Yo, welcome guys. Welcome to another episode of Reality Rise where we are discussing all things AR and VR related. A couple topics that we're going to discuss today. Meta is supposedly bringing photorealistic codec avatars. Disney is making a VR treadmill. Nintendo 3DS games are coming to VR. An Unreal Engine Pokemon mod which is out for VR. And of course, some things about the Apple Vision Pro. Take a seat, like the video, and let's dive in. So it kind of looks like that Meta is well on their way to bringing realistic Kodak avatars to the Quest headsets. This project was revealed in actually 2019. It's kind of crazy because the Kodak avatars were described as just a research kind of thingy. So hearing the news that they might bring the Kodak avatars to the Quest headsets is actually quite exciting. For the people that don't know yet, Kodak avatars are like life drivable and real time representations that match the appearance of their users. So with Kodak Avatars, Meta is trying to bring photorealistic telepresence to the Quest headsets. So just imagine seeing your friend or your family member or someone else in VR fully in detail and moving like you should in real life. There's honestly nothing that excites me more than something that is lifelike like that in VR. So even if you're like miles away from each other, you can still get the sense of that you're actually really close then and there. So the way this works is that the technology relies on headset that uses face and eye tracking and along with that some AI technology that combines everything together. Mark Zuckerberg and Lex Fritman recently demonstrated this technology, the current state of it, in a podcast. So VR enthusiast Luna recently discovered this by analyzing the firmware uh, 62 that references to these codec avatars. So in the past this method has unveiled the possibility for upcoming features. The timeline for their release remains uncertain. So for example features like Space Sense really arrived short after their discovery, but others like Discord or Project Avalanche have yet to materialize, even being discovered for a long time within the firmwares. Although the Meta CTO Andrew Bosworth have mentioned the Kodak avatars in March last year, he still cautioned that the feature is years away. So an amazing piece of tech is being developed by Lenny Smoot at Disney which could change the game for virtual reality. It is called the Holotal Floor. It is described as, and bear with me, world's first multi-person omnidirectional modular expandable treadmill floor. I'll talk about a mouthful. So imagine being able to walk and walk and walk to any direction that pleases you. And the funny thing is it can also manipulate objects that you place on it. So I'm curious what kind of use case that would actually get. But one of the biggest questions still remain in VR is how are we gonna get that real kind of lifelike walking feeling in there? Unless you want to like, you know, jog in a park or run around until you hit a tree or someone else, we still do not have that real lifelike solution. So I am curious how this one is gonna develop and if the hollow tile is gonna be developed from the prototype it is right now into a full-fledged walking machine for VR. So you have to think of the hollow tile like a floor that is made up of a bunch of tiles, which keeps the person or the object in the center of it. So this could allow people to have a shared virtual reality experience, walk an unlimited distance in any direction and never collide or walk off its surface. Which is actually important if you do not want to land on your face, of course. It's my luck. I face plant into a pile of rubbish. So currently there are no dates of actually releasing this thing because it still is like a prototype and Lenny Smooth is the only one that has access to it because he is of course the inventor of this this whole holotile floor thingy. We still have to wait until a tag piece like this comes to fruition. So tell me in the comments below if this is something that you would buy if it was to be released. So in another piece of news, the Nintendo 3DS, and we all know, at least for me, I know the Nintendo 3DS, with its 3D slider capabilities, it was nothing short of amazing when I played the Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is one of my childhood games, on that screen and seeing the depth of it. Well, it looks like that someone has made a mod called Citra VR, which actually brings Nintendo 3DS screen on your virtual reality headset. So the way this works is by using, of course, Citra 
VR, which is a VR port of the Citra emulator. It is originally designed for the PC to allow users to play Nintendo 3DS games on their virtual reality headsets. The emulator positions the in-game touchscreen below the user's vision for a more comfortable and intuitive experience. So this relies on side loading it through side quests and the using of 3DS ROMs that you can load onto your Quest in order to play the games. So apparently a free mod called UEVR, which is an Unreal Engine mod, can make people experience Power World, which is a game that went absolutely bonkers in the last couple days, experience the game in virtual reality through the use of Oculus Link. So Power World is an open world game reminiscent of Pokemon, featuring creature battles and exploration. It features an open world survival crafting system where players befriend and collect creatures called pals for various activities like fighting, building, farming, and working factories. Within the first three days of its early launch, Power World sold 5 million copies 5 million copies that's insane and reached nearly 1.5 million concurrent players on steam so the uavr mod is a mod that enhances non-vr games offering features like 6 dof head movement full stereoscopic 3d and optional 3 dof motion controls which is including also this game Power World. I include the link in the description which features a lot of the games that are now supported with the UEVR mod and it also ranks them based on how well they work or how poor they work and a lot more. So of course the UEVR mod that is made available now on GitHub adapts Unreal Engine 4 or 5 games like Power World for VR gameplay. Users can customize settings such as adjusting the first person point of view or using community sourced player profiles for of course a smoother experience. While it is not native VR, UEVR provides more than basic playability to non-VR games, emulating a semi-native VR experience. As for the Apple Vision Pro, the big boy expensive headset has now finally got a release date, which is February the 2nd. Ming-Chi Kuo, a prominent supply chain analyst, estimate that Apple Vision Pro has garnered around 200,000 pre-orders based on his reports on Apple's supply chain. Kuo's estimate is based on previous reports suggesting Apple would have 60 to 80,000 units produced by the launch date of February the 2nd. For the people that don't know yet, Apple Vision Pro is positioned as an advanced consumer VR headset powered by the Vision OS. The three-dimensional user interface is controlled by the user's eyes, hands and voice, offering intuitive gestures for interaction. The device features ultra-high resolution displays, advanced audio experiences, high-performance eye tracking and a dual-chip design with the M2 chip and the R1 chip for powerful performance. And of course, eyesight, a feature that is quite a hallmark right now for the Apple Vision Pro which makes the device look transparent when someone approaches, allowing users to see others while displaying the user's eyes. Well, that was the news today, guys. Do not forget to hit the like if you love this and consider subscribing if you want to stay updated with the latest and greatest VR industry updates. Also, comment below if you think that I forgot something to add for maybe the next video. And with that said, until we meet again in the next video, peace.